The FDA is divided up into different organizations, and the Center for Device and Radiological Health, CDRH, is the one that regulates medical devices, including IVDs. Within the CDRH, the Office of In Vitro Diagnostics and Radiological Health, OIR, is the specific department which regulates IVDs except those under the responsibility of the Office of Blood Research and Review, OBRR. See below. Unlike the rest of the CDRH, the Office of In Vitro Diagnostics and Radiological Health does everything in-house, including pre-market review and post-market surveillance. And it also makes complexity categorization and waiver determinations under the Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments, CLIA, of 1988, which will be discussed later in this course. IVDs that are regulated by the Center for Biologics Evaluation and Research, CBER, include those for screening or confirmatory laboratory tests associated with blood banking operations as well as those intended for use in collecting, processing, storing, and administering blood products and their components. Similar to the Office of In Vitro Diagnostics and Radiological Health, the Office of Blood Research and Review within the CBER administers the pre-market review, post-market surveillance, and compliance programs. Our focus will be on the processes within the Office of In Vitro Diagnostics and Radiological Health. Let's take a look at the responsibilities laid down by the government. Laboratories are required to adhere to and establish quality standards to ensure accuracy, reliability, and timeliness of patient test results. This is done through the Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments, CLIA, of 1988. The implementation of the Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments at laboratories is overseen by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS. As delegated by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, the Office of In Vitro Diagnostics and Radiological Health uses several criteria in order to determine the complexity categorization of commercially marketed in vitro diagnostic tests, which include level of knowledge, high, moderate, or low, required to perform the test, characteristics of the operational steps, requirements for calibration, quality control, and proficiency testing materials, interpretation and judgment. The FDA is also responsible for ensuring that devices, which are currently on the market, remain safe and effective.